Entrevistas Alfa. How are you, Nasri? How are you, Magic? Muy bien, muy bien. Gracias. I know you're learning some Portuguese. Maybe you know some Spanish too. Um, I know a little bit of Spanish. I think in, in the world of media and radio, you guys talk really fast. <laughs> Sorry. You know, no, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You have such an amazing, um, you know, amazing way with words. Uh, but I think... Um, it's yeah, definitely harder for me to 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 to. Uh, to but they're up. similar, right? Like some. Yeah, there's some Spanish. similarities. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I am learning Portuguese, um, and um, you know, but I, I grew up speaking another language. I I speak Arabic, so you know, I never really craved speaking another language. And my wife is German, so she speaks fluent German. So my kids kind of speak uh, German. Um, and so it's a lot, a lot of languages going on and, Beautiful. but you know, Spanish is all around me. I'm in Los Angeles. It's, it's all around me and it's, it's full of Mexicans. It's, I, I think hundred percent, you know, the most beautiful language in the world, you know? Oh, so, thank you. <laughs> uh, and I, you, you, and now I'm starting to hear the difference. If I talk to somebody in Argentina or somebody in Mexico or something yeah. like, Oh, I know where you're from, you know, like, yeah. but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a, I, it's I struggle, I definitely struggle to learn languages. It's tough. It's, you know, it's tough for me. My brain is like, you know, like. But it's working a lot. So it's very, it's very working. It's, I'm getting there. I'm slowly getting there. It's a new passion in my life. And I'm going to start with Portuguese and then I'm going to, you know, get back to Spanish and okay. start to expand. Yeah. Congratulations. Because I love languages too. That's wonderful. Let's talk, Nazri, about your new album because it's, It's great. I know. Congratulations Thank for you. Inner Love Energy. It was out last April and it's the fourth yeah. album of your career. Is no, no, okay? it, came out, it came out this April. Yeah. Yeah, this April. And this, this is April. the fourth yeah. album yeah, of your career. This is the fourth album. Yeah, fourth Magic album. Yeah. yeah. And I know you wanted to come back to the world with music that brings joy. That's beautiful. Yeah, Happiness, I think it's like... Joy. Specifically with Magic as a band, I think we just needed that, you know, we like for us to want to come back, you know, we had made three albums. I think like most artists are good with making three albums, you know, they're like, okay, you know, I'm done. I made three albums. Mm -hmm. um, let me just tour this for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And I think for, I make so much music, you know, like as a professional songwriter and, and the guys make a lot of music too. And I think like for us to make music together again, there has, there had to be a bigger purpose, you know, mm -hmm. um, which is great because now it's kind of restarted, um, you know, the whole reason why we started the band, which is to go on tour, you know, to, to go play in front of people. We've been playing all these shows all summer and it's just amazing, you know, to see the reaction for the new songs, of course, the old songs. Um, and now to see the success of I'm Rich in Mexico is wow. crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we did have high hopes for that song. And and I love the idea that like the history, you know, the story of the song is it broke out of Mexico. You know, it's like, you know, such an amazing opportunity for us in such yeah. a huge country, you know? Yeah, it is. It is. And we, we love your music. I want to know, Nazri, how was the process of creating this new album, this new music? It definitely started with a dinner. It was started, after, with a dinner? Started with a very important dinner. Yeah. And it was myself, our guitar player, Mark, and our bass player, Ben. And at that time, Alex was still in the band, but okay. he was in Toronto. Okay. So we sat and had this dinner where we just talked about why we weren't making music. What and what what was it going to take for us to make music together again? Mm -hmm. And I just said to the guys, it's not about the making music. It's about what we're saying in the music. That's why I haven't kind of come back to it. So we had that dinner. And by the end of the dinner, we figured out what we were all kind of all feeling the same thing, which is to make an album, you know, to help people um, get through the day, an, an upbeat, joyful album, something soulful, musical stuff that we were craving to do. And that, we've always kind of done, but now it's like a whole album of it, you know, and that's it. And then unfortunately, um, you know, Alex, it had been a long time since he had kind of, he moved back to Toronto and 
he was detached from magic at that point and focused on his production career. Mm -hmm. And, you know, his energy wasn't with us. Um, and, you know, he, he, you know, he took his, um, he took his leave and, and we told him whenever you want to come back, just come back, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's, you know, kind of like magic forever type of thing, you know? So it was like tough. It was like a tough time, yeah. but at the same time, it was a very healing time because, you know, there was just no matter what's happening, it's the end of the pandemic. We're going to stay positive. We're going to give people this energy of, of this positive music. Like, I don't know, like when you think about it, no one's making this, like no one's giving people an album of it. They're like love, song. optimism, positivity. Yes, absolutely. And yeah. I think that those kind of, uh, that kind of lyrics are super necessary nowadays Because sure. we are so easily distracted with social media and everything yes. that's happening all around the world. And we need that love. We need that uh, positive energy. We yes. definitely need it all around the and, world. And we did we did it in nine genres. You know, it's like every song is a different style. Yeah. And so why we did that was because it was more fun, first of all. But second of all was you could play it. You could play it at a party you could play it and it, it just changes it changes and it flows from sound to sound mm -hmm. so um and it was a it's a departure for us you know people are used to hearing a lot of the reggae stuff for us mm -hmm. and you know we did like a little bit on the album like kind of a little bit of one song with truly happy but we just wanted to show people different sides of magic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and let's talk about i'm rich just as you said it's huge here in mexico city and mm -hmm. Talking again about the lyrics, you know, like focusing on those things that really matter in life, love, family, health, friends, those things that money can buy. I love the lyrics. I love the song. Thank you so much. You know what? When you're, writing something, when you're writing something like this, mm -hmm. you know, because I had, I'm rich. Well, I'm rich with it. Yeah. You know, I had the first part. But then I wanted to have the beginning feel different. Like, how do I get your attention? How do I make it interesting for me to sing something like this? And then all of a sudden I was like, this homeless was man, you know, it's like, you know, it's like maybe the advice, maybe it's not me singing I'm rich. It's people who have less than me, but more than me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, It's like, why are you happier than me? You know? And then it's just like, oh, got it. You're rich within, you know? And sometimes people like myself who are very relaxed, but very competitive, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes forget that, you know? And I just, I just think like, it's just necessary in a time where everyone is trying to become something they're not, you know? And have It's more like, and more material things. More and more. Yeah. It doesn't equal anything. There's nothing is going to come from it, you know? And we make this mistake. I still make the mistake all the time. You know, it's like, and just sometimes you just got to go outside and put your feet in the grass and realize that like the energy is inside of you to be happy, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I'm so glad that, that the fans are feeling that same energy, you know, yeah. and that it's helping people. Absolutely. And you know what? It's like a, a great message for us and for our children too. Of course. That, to grow thinking differently. That's right. When kids at a young age hear this song, you know, they, they're like, oh, you know, I'm rich within, you know, it's like, I don't need it. Mm -hmm. And what ends up happening is that, you know, kids start to kind of see the world differently, you know, through us, through music, you know, I healed I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. You know, I had some friends, but I, I've always kept a very small group. Music has always been my best friend. Mm -hmm. And, you know, songs like this would have been on repeat. You know, I mean, my son, he's eight, nine years old. And every day he, in the car on the way to school, he wants to hear songs, you know, not my songs. Anybody, <laughs> but he wants to hear, you know, he, he he's loving like a One Republic song right now. And like, mm -hmm. you know, just the way you see it healing him you know and it's just like i feel like this album is a great album to put on even as a family you know you put it on in the morning it's just got good vibes for the family yeah. on the way to school on the way to work mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, but also great vibes for Sunday chilling or, you know, like it's just one of those things that we, I feel like we created something that has a purpose. Yeah, it makes you feel better. Yes. So I hope congratulations we hope so. on that. Congratulations. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And let's let's talk about Ruth that was released in 2013. I mean, yeah. super hit all over the world. I want to know if that was a personal experience <laughs> for you or some oh, of the, the guys no. on the band. <laughs> no, no, that was uh there was a part of the song that was a personal experience, which is, you know, why do you have to be so rude? And I was in a yeah. fight. Why do you have to, to be so mean? Yeah, yeah. And then, but I I had written that concept the first time we wrote the song, and the song was very dark. Okay. And then about three months later, um rewrote it in this funny way, you know, because I think when people don't realize about me and and that they see when they meet me, like I'm very silly, you know, like I could like I could. I could be like really romantic when I sing, uh -huh. you know, like almost like a crooner, like coming from R and B, coming from stuff. But I also have this side of me. That's what kind of makes magic interesting. It's like we have this very like, oh, this home, this was, man. you know, like, and then uh -huh. we have ballerina, don't stop, this super romantic singing. So um, I think that's what makes us unique. Yeah. You know, it makes us unique. This ability to play within emotions and we don't lose you you know we like um it's the same person it's almost like i'm two people in a lot of ways you know? but that's the way we are we 100%. are in, in different moods 100 you can be sometimes sad or happy or whatever Dude, bob, bob, marley was very, bob marley was very much like that you know yeah. bob marley had his kind of like the get up stand up this kind of soldier part of him But then he had this lover part of him, you know, like turn your lights down low, you know, and it was like that's the same person, like yeah, it is. That's that's awesome, you know. And I think like within magic, I don't really do a lot of political music, um, mm -hmm. you know, but I do a lot of fictional music mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. the other side of me, you mm -hmm. know, the roots and the I'm rich and this mm -hmm. kind of other like hello character, you know. Mm -hmm. um, It's almost like my little kind of Freddie Mercury side, you know, it's like my theatrical side. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. But when you come to the shows, it's cool because like we'll sing I'm rich and you're going crazy. And then we'll do like let your hair down and we'll be like oh. the sexy, super sexy moment. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, and then, you know, I'm taking off the funky jacket and it's just me and boom. And I, it's awesome. You know, it's like okay. um, I really enjoy that. And I love the conclusion of Ruth, like, I'm going to marry her anyway. So yeah, like it or not, yeah. Yeah. this Look, is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. that's kind of that's kind of me. Yeah, yeah, I really, really love it. So I want to know, Nazri, how has uh, magic changed uh, around the years? I mean, th this work you've been doing as a band for so many years, how had how had this changed for you? Oh, man. In a lot of ways, we're the same, you know, like when we hang out, it's the same, it's the same kind of energy between us. Um, I think, I don't know, there, there's some of it that is like, there's some of it recently I noticed that where it's like, it just takes less time to do things because we've done them, you know, it's like, we'll just be talking about changing something in the show and something that would have taken two days before takes 20 minutes now mm -hmm. where we just like, yeah, but that doesn't, you know, we know that that doesn't work. So just move that there and do, do what works. And so I think there's a maturity to magic now, like mm -hmm. experience to magic. Like, you know, when you come to our show, you, you get the feeling this band has played together for a long time, mm -hmm. you know, you know, each other uh, now. for sure. And, Uh, we've we've had now a consistent drummer, a, a man from uh, a very good friend from Brazil, Carlos Lazari, great drummer um, with us. So there's been kind of a, a good consistency there, a new friend, a new part of the family. And, you know, I and um, yeah, I think like like we're comfortable, you know, we're, we're just comfortable in our in our skin. And and now we're just like working in the new TikTok world, you know, in the new world of social media, which we didn't have to do as much in, in the earlier parts of our career, you know? So um, 
finding ways to enjoy that has been our struggle. I think, you know, <laughs> like when you're a certain age, um, you didn't grow up with the phone in your hand. So it's not the first thing that you do. You're just like, no, I, I'll touch the phone when I'm ready for the phone. Like I, I, so, you know, we, I think we're doing pretty good. We're, we're trying to stay, you know, active and, but we just try to show people our live show as much as possible. Like this is what magic is about, but I am going to make some fun TikToks to I'm rich. For okay, sure. okay. Like, I, I got some ideas. I'm going to make some today. Like I have some ideas. I just been waiting to kind of like see the character of, of him. Like, how do I want to dress when I sing I'm rich and, you know, um, and I have this idea. I think it's going to be funny. It's going to be very, very fun. And you've been traveling and you're going to be touring. What about Mexico? Are we on your hundred percent? Of course, of course. Okay. Like right now we just got an agent now in Mexico, um, really great agent. So we're, yeah, he's putting it together. We're going to put together some offers for us. Mm -hmm. and Next year or? Uh, I, I think you know? there is a show in Mexico coming up, Mexico City, a festival that we're at the like 99% confirmed. Okay. We're just trying to get to the end of it. So um, we're going to be playing at a festival just to say hello to the fans. And then it's definitely next year. Yeah, definitely next year. Okay. Uh, probably like, er, I would say it's going to be like late winter, like okay. late winter, right before the spring come give you guys some some warmth and some joy we're gonna uh, be waiting for you i love it man you know what it's mexico's like it's easy for us man we're four hours like it's you know it's so easy for us but we want to do it right we want to make sure that you have enough time in mexico to hear the new music and mm -hmm. because you know we added like half the album into the show mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so and all the fans like listen you need to be ready <laughs> gotta be ready you gotta listen to new music like yeah. why do you think we make it you know <laughs> like we make it for you to listen to. we make it for you to put it in your shows but mm -hmm. also like you gotta follow us online you know make sure that you follow us because you know you know how the algorithms work they don't always show you everything so mm -hmm. you got to make sure you follow us and check in on the band and and you know the second we know we tell you so We're, we're, we're so excited that I'm rich is, you know, working in Mexico. Absolutely. And we're going to come and celebrate the 10th anniversary of Rude. And then now the one year anniversary of the, the, you know, our, our new, our new song, I'm rich. So it's, and, and the album, and it's just so many great things happening at once. And I think we just miss it. We just miss being in Mexico. It's been way too long. You know, it's yeah. been like, I agree. You need time. to come back as soon as possible. And yeah. you have a lot of Mexican fans. Can you send them a message? Hola to all of our Mexican fans. Okay, this is Nasri from Magic. Please listen to our new music. Follow us online because we miss you so much. Message us, say hello. Tell us your favorite new songs. Tell us your favorite Magic songs. Not just Rude. Tell us your other favorite Magic songs. And... um Let us know where you are in Mexico. So, you know, so so we can come and see you and play for you. Perfect. Thank you so much. We we are going to be waiting for you next year. And it's been a pleasure having this conversation. Thank you for your time, your generosity. Thank you. Thank you. I really, I really appreciate you. Thank you. It's been really, really a pleasure for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Entrevistas Alpha.